guys. And this one, what's your name? I'm Roland. He's Roland. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. I went to the mall the other day, I planned on buying some fall clothes for Ryden, and I went to H&M. They stop you right at the door and they tell you, because of COVID, you can't try any of the clothes on in the change room, and that instead, just pick out what you like, buy it, take it home, you can try it on there, and you have 60 days to return everything. Uh, so, obviously it's me, and I went a little bit overboard, uh, and I probably bought about twice as much as I actually planned on buying, so my goal is to pick out 50% of the items that I actually want to keep and return the other 50%. The way I've done this is I had myself, my children try it on. We took pictures. I'd love to hear your feedback. I prefer to take pictures in natural light. So a lot of the pictures are taken out on our back deck. I've already decided on a couple things I know for sure that I'm keeping, but honestly, I'm really torn on everything else. All right, everyone, let me grab the clothes and I'll show you what wait, we got for- Wait, 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 wait. You, you, revealed. Please leave like and subscribe and there's a timer. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Subscribe. Thanks, Ryden. Okay. Here is my giant H&M bag. Let's get started. I feel like it's so much dumping and ridiculousness. I like double bagged it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't like, I, it shouldn't be stressful. It's just, there's so many items and I really don't know how I'm going to choose. So I think I'll start off with this. This is a little sweater that's my toddler size. It's a knit sweater, it's super soft, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, it was $19.99, FYI I'm can Canadian, so that's Canadian pricing. Um, and then I paired it with these uh, brown pants. These are super cute too, uh, but one thing I found is that with H&M sizing, they have like three to four year old instead of three T or four T. I found it confusing to figure out what size of pant to actually buy for him because right now he's still in a 2T pant, but occasionally I can get him in a 3T pant, so I didn't want to buy 2T for fall when I figure he's still growing, but the 3-4 was gigantic. Like, it was definitely too big, so at a minimum, I need to exchange those pants or just have them as one of the items I'm returning. Next, I'll show you these long green pants for Raiden. I love the color. I find that it's just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like a nice, like muted green. I really enjoyed it. And I paired that with this star hoodie. It was pretty simple, pretty cute. Um, and then with that, I, I used this like yellow vest. It's kind of like a mustardy color vest. And honestly, Ryden looked adorable in it. I think I'm gonna keep the vest, but let me know what you think. I'll show you the photos of the boys. Next, I'll show you their cool dinosaur outfits. So this is one that Ryden picked out and that he really wanted. So most likely we'll keep them. But basically, they're a sequin dinosaur sweater, and when the sequins are all down, it's yellow, but you can change it so that it'll be green, mix and match. Both of the boys were freaking out about this, honestly. They're both kind of dinosaur obsessed, especially my two-year-old. Uh, for Raiden, I paired them with these really cool teal pants. Uh, I absolutely love these, so I think that they're probably going to end up on the keep list, but let me know. Okay, so here's the dinosaur sweater in the two-year-old size. Again, both boys were totally obsessed with these. I love them. Uh, for the pants with those ones, I paired just these little blue ones. Um, and I did buy these in the smaller size to see how it would go. These are the one and a half to two. And they did fit him, but I, they, they didn't have a lot of room at the bottom for him to get any taller. And so honestly, probably for row, 
I'm probably going to be returning the pants just in general for him. Next, I put them in these tiger sweatshirts. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, both boys, I did some nice faded denim. I love these pants for Rye. I really like the, the string tie at the top. And they're skinny jeans. There's no rips in them. They're just like a nice faded wash. And Ryden looks really cute in them. They look, they're really comfortable, almost like sweatpants. So I thought that that was a really great feature about them. For Roland, his are also faded. There's some of the, you know, detailing here. Overall, they again were too big on him, but they weren't quite as massively big as those brown pants were. Next is Ryden's sweater. Okay, so this is the tiger sweater for Ryden. Um, I love the vibrant red, but I don't know. It looked maybe slightly snug on him, and I really don't want to buy anything that's going to, you know, be grown out of by the time December hits. That would be a real bummer because kids grow like weeds. Okay, so for the tiger top for Roe, I have this yellow and blue uh, tiger sweater, and I absolutely love it. It was so adorable on him. I might be biased. I kind of think everything's adorable on my kids, but sue me. So these yellow pants might be one of my favorite items in the entire haul. I'm just obsessed with them. They look great on Raiden. Uh, we wore them for a photo shoot, which I'll show you. So this photo is actually from a photo shoot we did for some coordinating family outfits. Roland and my outfits and photos aren't included because it's not from the H&M haul at all. But if you'd like to see those, please follow me on Instagram at Mama Twills. I'll be posting those photos sometime next week. And there is one last outfit. And this is a ride-in only outfit. So let's see. Sorry, guys. I have such a mess going on here with uh, how much stuff I just dumped out in my lap. Okay, so it's a New York sweater. And I really like the neck. It's like, like this. Like it's not hooded, but it has an interesting kind of neckline. He looked comfortable in it. It was really cute. I don't know if it's memorable though, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that one or not, but I do really like it. And then I had that paired with these navy pants. Again, I like the navy pants. I don't know if I like them more than the other items, so it might end up on the return list just because it's not something that I would really remember. But then again, it's neutral enough that it could be worn at any time, so I'm, I'm really torn. Last but not least, there's something I bought for myself. So when I was in H&M, I totally planned on going to, you know, the adult section, taking some time, looking for things for me. But after the kids' clothing section, Ryden was really bored and jumping around. And so I thought, okay, let's just like try. I don't know. I really only looked at clothes for myself when we were in the line to pay. The line was just really long. So I was able to find a couple of things I genuinely liked, one of which... Um, is this shirt. So let me just tell you, um, as a career, I'm in marketing. And so I do do office work and I like to kind of have, you know, a casual business attire. So this is a shirt I really like for myself. Um, I'll show you the picture of it. It's a selfie. Couldn't help it. No one could really take the picture for me. Um, but I think that the, the shirt is very nice. And then I also bought myself this, this fun, kind of straw purse but honestly I felt awkward holding it like this is look at, like it's so dainty and then even when I wore it as like a shoulder strap I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this I do think it's super cute like I think it's a lovely purse but I'm one of those mom purse people so I have like a giant purse and everything in the world lives in my purse like there's snacks and band-aids and wipes and like seven bottles of hand sanitizer and like chapstick and like anything you can think of, like random bobby pins, elastics, toothpicks for my husband, just everything you can think of ends up in my purse. And I can't imagine any of it fitting in this. So I think it was really 
just I was dreaming when I bought this purse, so most likely we'll also be returning it. Hopefully you guys liked my video. It's my first haul video, and I really wanted to make sure that I showed the products well. Um, also, I'm on Like to Know It. I've linked that to this video, so if you guys want to purchase any of these items and you live in the United States, you can absolutely go to my Like to Know It and find them really easily on my page. Full disclosure, I do get a small amount of commission if you buy anything, so no pressure. Just if you're looking for the items, that's where you can find it. Um, if you're in another country, um, just check H&M's website because this is the most current stuff. It's August of 2020. And so hopefully you're able to find that stuff. Fall is just a moment away, which is why I'm buying all this winter gear, but it feels... It feels really strange to be buying puffy vests in August, but I'm kind of a planner, so that's how that's how I do it. All right, thanks for watching our video. Okay, goodbye. Bye, everyone.